Ben Ryan. Second to the seventh. Comes right up to the clubhouse, this uh, seventh hole. And the driving range on the right side. That's a beautiful shot from Van Ryan. Eric Van Ryan from South Africa. Outside chance here for a birdie on the eighth, a par five. Ooh, we know how good he is with the putter, leaving one of the putting stats this week. But just missing out there. I think a pair of trousers for you, Warren, is like that. He's, he's suited to you, don't you? Van Royen coming to the turn. 197 to the pin today. Back left at this night. Surrounded by water. Ideal is to knock it into the middle of the green. Just draw it very slightly if you can, and it'll hit a spine that's in there, just about there. And that'll move it round from right to left. I'll tell you what, that's not too bad from Van Royen. He had the line as well. Should be no problem for a two here for Van Ryan to reach the turn at minus four. Ready. Nicely done. Was it you, Doogie, saying you fancied he was going to win one? Van Ryan, second shot to 11. He'd love to do what Miliotzi has just done and hold his second shot. But tell you what, that's a very good effort anyway. Not a required by his playing partner. When the Hotsey had hauled out for two, and unfortunately, Van Royen, having played a very good approach of his own, misses the putt. Eric Van Royen with his third shot on the par 5 12th. The first couple of days, there were some diabolical pin placements on the front left. This one much friendlier up the back, everything feeding towards the hole. Van Royen has hit a spectacular shot. That to Good move job, into a sh share of second. The tall guitar playing South African, Eric Van Royen. Not sure if he's taking bookings, but probably got enough on his plate just at the moment. That's a nice birdie for Eric. This is this dangerous flag where you really want to be below the hole if you can. Try to get a little bit greedy and, and he's right over the top of the flag. Wasn't put off at all. Van Royen. Can he make birdie at 13? I think he can. That's a great putt by the South African. He moves within one again, back-to-back -back birdies for Eric Van Royen from Johannesburg. Well, Van Royen's been tempted to go at the flag here on 14, gone a little long, so similar bunker shot to that of Kawamura we saw a little while ago. Pay a heavy price if you go straight at that pin and you don't pull it off. Doesn't want to lose the momentum though here at 14. This is a par putt for the South African. Oh, he has. Oh, that's frustrating. Putting together a nice little run of birdies, moving to within one, but that's a, a bogey four for Eric Van Royen at the tricky par three 14th. Still only two back. All sorts of problems here for Van Royen on the short par four. Has he got a gap he can get this ball through? Oh, he's gone over the top. Wow. Must have got a lot of height with that. He would only be going with a, a wedge anyway. But he's done well to get it on the edge of the green. Now, this is one of those putts I was talking about before, guys, where you're going up the hill and then down the other side with... A lot of break and so difficult to lag the ball within two, three feet of the hole. And what's happened there with Eric Van Royen is what happened to me for 18 holes yesterday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it is just endless punishment out here if you put it in the wrong spot. Well, Van Royen for his part. On 50. Oh, what a putt to make. I mean, he did use the putter twice there. It'll actually go down as a single putt, but oh, 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 no wonder he's feeling pretty pleased with himself leaving the green, having got himself out of jail.
Van Royen's second shot on the 16th coming up the hill. Flag over on the right. And a little plateau. And once again, just not quite making it, but that's okay. Should be relatively simple there. Get it up and down. You've got to sort of play it as a sharp dog leg par three, haven't you? Really? <laughs> yeah, I think Front you have. left and then straight back up the green. Van Royen, after that fantastic fairway bunker shot at 16, putting from the fringe. This is a makeable one. Oh, how about those last two putts? Eric Van Royen to six under par, only one stroke behind Crocker. Van Royen at six under is one behind and out with a nine. I wonder whether he can actually carry this far enough oh. into the breeze today. Oh. 265 oh. to the front. Absolutely got to smoke it if he wants to get on the green. Pitched in that front bunker. Oh, he would have made it had he been a little further right. Oh, now this will be an interesting bunker shot. Where's he aiming this one? Nowhere near the flag. He's going to use the contours of the slope of the green here on 17. High right, bring it back down towards the hole. Come on, keep coming, keep going, keep going. Needed a bit more spin on it. Buddy putt for up, Van Royen. Yeah, another one hold. He's putted well today, has Eric. And that takes him into a share of the lead. Moves to seven under par alongside Sean Crocker. Van Roy to the 18th. Ow. Is he laying up or is he trying to force this into the front bunker? Oh, he's gone for the gap in between the bunkers, trying to play the chaser. Oh. I think he might have preferred that to finish in the sand. I'm ahead to the 18th. Up and down here for Van Ryan to take the lead. I think he'd have preferred to have been in the bunker playing out of this grass, going to get very little stop pitching onto the down slope. Oh, oh. Just goes on, but that's a very fine effort. And if you're a right hander, this is the sort of putt you don't mind having if you have a putt on day three to post a clubhouse lead a little bit of movement just a fraction from right to left well done Eric van Rijn that's a terrific round 68 five under par today for the South African and a great finish finishes with three straight birdies four in the last six holes Van Rooyen takes the lead on his own at eight under par here in Morocco. 74, 69 and a 68, but three birdies to finish on Saturday. How good did that feel? <laughs> really good. I'm smiling right now. Uh, what were the keys, though, out there today? You mixed five birdies in the back nine. Did you just go up a gear? What was, what was it all about? I didn't even realise I made five birdies, to be honest. Um, yeah, I didn't switch any gears. I uh, struggled with my rhythm and my tempo a bit in the beginning. Um, and... You know, I think I just kind of found my flow on, on the back nine, um, sort of through seven on the front side. So, um, you know, I spoke to Alex, my caddy, just, you know, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. And I think we're a level par through eight holes and, and things just started to click. You've had some lovely performances, certainly in recent tournaments, but you've slept on an overnight lead going into the final round of the Irish Open yeah. last year. Mm -hmm. What are the big takeaways from that now? More maturity. How do you see it? Yeah, I was quite nervous last year, um, and I think I've been in this position a bunch of times now. So you know, the nerves will be there again tomorrow. But um, I love to be in this position. So um, look, what we've been doing up until now has been great. So we'll just keep doing that. It's a wonderful day for you. Great performance. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.